And what about, I, I mean, do you have any encounters that you would describe as transformative with, with individual poems, like that, that sort of change that interior trajectory? Mm, let me see if I can think of an example. I had several in the writing of Seneca Village um, taught me things. Um, there's one in the book about my family history. Um, I have a poem in which my great grandfather is conceived. It's a poem about his being conceived. Mm. His mother was enslaved and his father was a white man who didn't own her. And the story that my family has passed on was that this was not a plantation rape, mm. but a relationship. Uh, they had two children together, and he gave her a house later. I don't know anything about the relationship. All I know is the myth mm -hmm. that went on in the family. And I, so I was writing about the scene in which he stumbles to her cabin one night, and the, it's a sonnet, and when I wrote the last two lines, the rhyme is, and it wasn't rape in spite of her raw terror and his whip. When I wrote that couplet, I was scared. Mm. I thought, I can't write this. I can't things. publish this because it so flies in the face of everything mm. that we believe. And yet, it just felt like I was saying something that I needed to say mm. and that the generations of my family have passed on that it, I don't know. So mm. I had some things mm -hmm. like that, that you, you know, you write the word and then you go, ooh. <laughs> yeah. 